Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be testing the Molly May fake tan. So there is a bit of a twist to this video. Um, it's not just going to be an average how I do my tan video because this is the first time I've ever done fake tan. So normally I sunbed, I used to get them like two, three times a week and then kind of stopped about six months ago and just get them here and there. But obviously being in lockdown, I've gone back to being pasty AF. And so I thought what better time than to try some fake tan. The reason I've never really fake tanned is because just with my luck, I am the type of person who goes green as my scrunchie or just as orange as a satsuma. I'd be streaky, it would just not go well. But I thought I'd bite the bullet and give it a go today. Obviously with some beds, you just get on it. It's an even tan. You don't do anything. I, there's nothing I have to do but lie there. I've watched so many videos and oh my God, the efforts you guys go to to get a tan. Madness, but here I am trying it myself. So without further ado, let's get tanning. Because I do normally like to sunbed, um, I am used to being quite tan. So I did go for the dark one. Um, they have recently bought out a medium shade, but I thought I'd go dark. I didn't want to try extra dark just in case um, it goes wrong. But then I also got oh, the mitt as well. So in preparation, I have watched a couple of YouTube videos and they all kind of said to make sure that you moisturize the driest parts, that being elbows, knees, ankles and hands. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm just using this one, it's a Nivea one, um, which I got in Barcelona when I went there, can't remember when, February. So I've moisturised everywhere and then re-moisturised my elbows, my knees and my hands. I might actually redo my hands because I am really worried about my knuckles going like pure orange. So I might redo that, but reading it, it says for the best glow, shake well and apply a generous amount directly to desired area. For best results, use our filter by Molly May Velvet Tanning Mitt. Working the product onto the skin in circular motions until fully absorbed. Use sparingly on knees, ankles and elbows. For facial tanning, we recommend the Filter by Molly May Mini Velvet Tanning Mitt. Did not buy that. Wash hands immediately after any application and wait 10 minutes after applying product before dressing. The formula is fast drying and lightweight. However, we recommend allowing 4 to 10 hours of tan to fully develop. For the deepest tan, reapply Filter by Molly May one hour after first application for a healthy sun touch glow all year round. I feel like I'm not going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do two layers. 10 hours, what is the time now? Half one, half two, half three, half four, half five, half six, half seven, half eight, half nine, half 10, half 11. I'm normally asleep by 10. I'll keep it on for eight hours and we'll see what happens. I'm going to be honest, I only been two months into YouTube. I didn't think I was going to skimp down this much, but here we are, what can I say? My hands are too moisturized and now I can't get the bag open because my hands are too slippery. Oh God, oh there we go. Oh, it's soft. Oh, really soft. I don't want to put fake tan on this. I feel like that's like rude because it's so soft. So it says to obviously shake well, which I feel like I've done. It's all like plasticky inside. I don't know what I was expecting, but. Oh. Weird. That, look, that looks green. Oh, if I go green, I'm gonna be so sad. Like, so sad. Here goes nothing. Circular motions. Yeah, why do I feel like my elbow is already darker than the rest? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I can't really tell a difference. Not too much anyway. Maybe I will have to do a second coat. Can I tell a difference? Mm, I feel like I look green. Hmm. Are you meant to do your arm? 
foam pit. I guess so, because otherwise you'd have really white armpits. Now my deodorant's come off on it. That's, well, I don't know what I expected. Okay, so I'm gonna do under here now where you guys can't see, but then I will do legs. This is hard. How do people do their backs on their own? I feel like I withdraw my previous statement and I am going to have to do two coats because I've done my belly but they're still the same, it's the same colour as my legs which I have not done yet. Also excuse all the mess in the background, ignore that. To do my legs, I'm literally just doing the same but I really feel like maybe I'm not putting enough on although you can kind of see where the colour's going. I've got it all over the bed but thank god that I put this bad boy on the floor otherwise this would be ruined. Dang. So, I have actually only left it 15 minutes, but I'm going in with another layer. I don't feel like I'm changing colour. I snapchatted the girls, they agreed. Sophie not changing colour, so I'm going in now. If I need to do another one in 45 minutes, so then it's an hour, so be it. But I just feel like this is something I need to do. I just need to do an extra layer right now. And if I end up looking like mud, or green, or orange, then so be it. I would have learnt the hard way, but I just feel like I just need another layer on there. I feel like it does go on quite well though. And it doesn't stink, which I feel like when I was in school and everyone with fake tan, they always smelt weird. But this doesn't smell weird. It smells quite nice. I approve of the scent. Obviously I forgot to do this like, side of me, so that is just as frosty as the snowman gets. Oh, this is so hard. I'm just going to do my legs on the bed. But I mean, I know some beds are bad, but so much less hassle. Like I'd be, if I jumped on a sunbed, and this is not me promoting them by the way, each to their own. If you want to get some bed, get some bed. If you don't, because you're scared about health risks, absolutely fine. It's the same as smoking. Some people choose to do it, some people don't. I personally don't, but that's on bed. Um, but anyway, my point being, if I had jumped on a sunbed at the time I started doing this, so like 20 minutes ago, I would be the most tanned goddess you ever did see. But I mean, I guess this is healthier. And cheaper, I guess, because you just buy the one bottle and then I don't know how long it's meant to last for. I'm sure I could find out if I wanted to. Is this video going to be really boring? Are you just looking at half naked me on the screen with really bad skin, just rubbing stuff, rubbing stuff into herself? Kind of a bit weird if you ask me, but here I am. And why am I getting so out of breath doing this? I'm seriously that unfit that fake tanning gets me out of breath. So I exfoliated but I don't feel like I exfoliated my back good enough because it looks like I'm peeling. Which I'm not. Just do my face again. Oh do you do your ears? I can only assume yes. Eyelids? I don't know is that a thing? Oh having said that I did see on a video that they recommend you wipe it off your eyebrows, otherwise apparently your eyebrows go orange. I also saw on a video that you can fake tan like your contour, so then you don't have to contour. So are we gonna try it? Yes, we are. Oh, that already looks a bit dodge. Is that how it's meant to look? Again, probably not, but you live and you learn. Why is, well, I've done those two different heights. That's 
not a good start. I'll just do the jawline too whilst we're here. I feel like I'm getting carried away now. I feel like I've gotten a bit excited and I might have just ruined everything. But what can you do? It's on now. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. I just really feel like that was not the smartest thing to do. But you live and you learn. Hmm. Well, ladies and gents, that is the second coat applied. We can only hope for the best. I am looking a bit bronzer. These are my legs for reference. So I will now wait 45 minutes and then update you. So technically it has now been on for an hour. I think I have changed colour a little bit, but I all of a sudden realised this is meant to be on, they say, between four to ten hours. Am I meant to keep this on my face for four to ten hours or should I wash it off sooner? Because I look like a prick. Like, I, I actually look like a freak. I'm not sure I want to keep this on. I don't want to face my family with this stuff on my face. So, maybe I should have researched that a bit more. Never mind, I am going to leave it on. Someone just walked down the alley outside my house. I really hope they haven't just seen me stood here in the nude. That would be really embarrassing. I think I'm going to wash this off in a couple of hours. And then I'm going to wash this off around seven-ish. So that would have been on for about six hours. So I'll update you later. So I've actually redone my face because I just got got scared. It's been a few hours and I just have to say, I have a ring on my armpit and all I've done is lay in bed and watch YouTube. This is why I don't even fake tan because I sweat too much up being the tan that makes me go streaky it'll be me sweating i've still got another like three hours to go so it's been about four and a half hours i have actually got three coats of it on but i have gone quite dark i feel like maybe i didn't need three coats but i feel like it wasn't going dark so then i went to go darker and now this is where we're at so i'm going to wait a few more hours and then i'm going to wash it off it's time to wash it off does not do it justice and no i've not tidied any of that up yet but i am really dark i really should have trusted the process and not put on three layers of fake tan and also look at my armpit it is white i have a white armpit which is giving me flashbacks to year 11 prom when i got a spray tan so i technically lied i have had fake tan before i got spray tan sweated had bright white armpits it wasn't great night though my nose is looking snatched i'm off to shower and i'll update you in a minute i'm fresh out the shower i was gonna update you when um i was dry and dressed and stuff but i just had to say it all of a sudden dawned on me whilst i was in the shower how do i wash because if i got a loafer let me just adjust this if i got a loafer surely that was going to scrub off the tan so you know when you're at your mates and you get in the shower and you all of a sudden realize you don't have a flannel or anything so you just put the soap on your hands and you're washing like this that was me in the shower just now because i just didn't understand how i was meant to soap myself really without getting rid of all this tan and also my armpit my armpit is casper and the rest of me is goddess <sighs> what is life so the moment you've all been waiting for I am a bronzed goddess. Look at this. This worked wonders. My nose hasn't looked this skinny since I was an unborn fetus. Anywho, I think I've done a good job, if I do say so myself. I actually think Molly May might have converted me from sunbeds to fake tan. I'm very impressed. Although I did ask my mum, do you like my fake tan? And she did not notice that I had any on. She went, you're the same colour as you were before. So that's great. However, I snapchatted the girls. They said, you're really dark. You're really dark. You shouldn't have done three layers. However, I like the three layers. You can't really see because I'm dressed now. But let me do a little twirl for you. I like it. I feel nice and brown. I do have to go to the shop now though and it's raining so... Maybe it will trickle off now, but I'm not streaky, which I was worried about, as you all know. 
I feel, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Molly May, you've done bits here. This is with the flash on. Obviously, we all know how different things look with flash. But I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That's all from me. My uh, first fake tan attempt was a success. I think I'll be doing it more often. Can't wait to stay in the bed sheets even more than they already are. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.